Ah, oh, what is up guys? It is 63Z and I'm going to be going through all these conferences in di different videos, different ways. Make sure to check them all out. This one is going to be for E3's EA. Then I'll be doing them all in order and they'll all be uploaded in order. So if you want to go check out my review on every other um, release in every other conference, make sure to check it out. I'm not going to do PC gaming because that was absolutely a waste of time to look at. But... I'll make sure to do the rest of these for you right now, so let's go. Okay, so top five of the EA conference. Um, but first, I'm going to give an honorable mention to these two games. First is A Way Out. It's very, very, like, well made, I believe. It's going to be a bit weird, the fact that it has to be online multiplayer. But it's definitely worth an honorable mention. But the second honorable mention is I don't really play a lot of sports games. only reason why another one of the sports games in the EA's conference is in my top five is because it is such a big game but the honorable mention here is nba uh it's got a lot of new shit to it and anyone who really plays nba is gonna like it i won't like it because i don't actually play those kind of sports games but it's definitely worth an honorable mention for anyone who likes playing these games now honorable mentions out of the way there is no shitty mentions which is good because ea didn't really do a shit conference they did a really Fairly decent one, except for... What up, guys? Uh, if you guys didn't know, Need for Speed Payback, I'm... Um... <laughs> yeah, it's a great game. What a fuck up, I know. The lowest on my top five list, number five, is purely because I don't play the sports games. It's going to be FIFA 18. That's the only reason why this is at the lowest part of the list. But I don't play the sports games. I know anyone who does play them will find this list up on the list, like the top end of theirs. But for me, it's only about a 5. It looks cool. It's FIFA. It's a brand new game. Follows a new story of some other new fucking soccer player. Don't really care too much. But it is up in the top 5. And 4 is Need for Speed Payback. Which is actually where he... What up, guys? Fucked up. Need for Speed Payback. Really cool looking car game. I always love Need for Speed games. They're real fun, really well made. And the cars are really well balanced. Unlike Forza, I find that... Forza, they're harder to drive. In Need for Speed, it's a lot easier to drive and it's easy for new people to learn. And now three. The third one is a pretty easy choice because of the fact the other two are just so high up there. But three has also made it into one of my other lists, which will come up in a minute. Anyway, it's Ant- But out there, you either live with the choices you make die trying to change them anthem it was a teaser for it so i i'm gonna leave it in this one because it was a reveal in ea's e3 conference it is a reveal and these are the top five reveals in the conference not top five game i'm hoping it's going to be great i really do think it will be great i just want to make sure it is before i'm like oh my god so that's number three out the way number two i haven't played this game i know I want to play it, but I don't want to buy it, is the only problem. Battlefield 1, okay, I know it's a, it's a game from last, it's a game from a while ago, but they had a release in their conference for DLC coming to it, which is, it's a, it's a really good game, and a lot of people love it, a lot of people still love it, and a lot of people still play it, they're releasing brand new big DLC, like six maps or something like that, and then the Husa, as well as the Army of the like women of death or some shit i don't even know so that's easily taken number two spot and number one is only because i like this game i liked the original i played the originals beta and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like this one if and when i buy it I'm sorry for my hair it looks absolutely shot anywho five not five one is going to be star wars battlefront 2 anyone who watched the a conference knows star wars battlefront 2 was something they actually started it off with and ended it with. They started with it as like a little, hey, we're gonna do this, you can make sure you see it. And then they ended with it as well as just a huge thing of gameplay. And then they even ended it a second time with another huge thing of gameplay for Battlefield 1. Pretty, they had their priorities set pretty fucking well. Star Wars Battlefront 2 looks amazing. They balanced it a fair bit. I don't, I, I kind of like the drops. But it does make it easier to be like actually good at the game and get rewarded for it. So can't really complain. That's my top pick for the EA Conference 2017. Make sure to check out the rest of the videos that will be coming up soon in the description below. 
or just go to the channel and look at it there. Make sure to subscribe, go to all my social medias. I'll be streaming very soon. Follow Twitch, go to Twitter, go to Snapchat, go to Instagram, go to my Facebook, all of them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you whoa, in the next video. Oh my god, yeah, suck my dick. I hit him once, I hit him once, I hit him once. No. Fucking bitch, suck my dick. Ha ha ha!